the, the captain announced that there was something important he needed to relate to the customers, to the, to the passengers. Mm -hmm. And that was that the company that owns Crystal had gone into liquidation. And this would mean, he said, that uh, Crystal would have to cease sailing until further notice. The captain came over the, the public address and he said, ladies and gentlemen, I have another announcement to make. And that is that we are not arriving in Miami tomorrow, mm. being Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, we are diverting to Bimini in the Bahamas. The band leader came back and he said, um, guys, I've just found out why we're not arriving in Miami. And he said, it's, this is public knowledge. It's all over the internet. Said, Go on. He said, uh, <laughs> he said, there's a warrant out for the arrest of the ship, the mm -hmm. Crystal Symphony. Mm -hmm. And if we go into U.S. waters, the ship will be seized by the local authorities. Are you actually kidding me? This is a joke, right? Mm -hmm. We are on a ship that has a warrant for the arrest of it. The ferry that they laid on um, from, Fort, uh, from Bimini to Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. that was two hours it was two hours I never want to live through again. It was the roughest two hours I have ever known on the ship. I have never, ever felt sick on a ship before. But you know those horror videos you find online when they show the ship doing this or this this ferry and then going from side to side and mm -hmm. it almost looks like it's going to topple over. That's what it was like. But this is a human story. This is about people in their jobs and their dedication and their loyalty to a company. There are people on that ship that have been there for, for 15, 20, 25 years.